hello fellow traders welcome to another video today we are going to uh, explain one of the technical analyzers used uh, in forex trading which are supply and demand zones All right so I'm gonna start here uh, using the, um, uh, an example of uh, uh, euro and uh, USD or the, the US dollar so uh, the rule is pretty easy to understand and it could be applied to anything which falls uh, in the group of tradable uh, resources applied to the forex market if the supply of a currency pair is high and the and the demand is low it will drive prices low which means uh, like this and uh, if the supply for a currency pair is low and the demand is high this will act to drive prices higher the supply and demand of the currency pair is determined by the players in the forex market these are governments banks investors funds and speculators through their actions in the market are uh, so the participants in the forex markets are consistently shifting the supply and demand of currency pairs causing the price to fluctuate if you open a currency trade you are taking a part in the supply and demand equation within the market what are supply and demand zone in forex the supply and demand imbalances in forex can be seen visually on the price chart each tick on the graph represent changes in traders attitude toward this respective pair thus if traders have a certain bias uh, for a currency pair at certain level this can be recognized on forex chart by the informant trader for example if the currency pair is moving downwards on selling pressure some traders will position uh, pending buys orders at certain level below the price these people do not believe that the pair will go much lower beyond thereby limits order so we're going to see that uh, in uh, the technical aspect so these uh, uh, traders place buy orders at this level to purchase the pair on the assumption that the bearish move is likely to stall uh, if uh, a large group of people do this or even a large institution does this there will be accumulated a big volume uh, pending orders around this specific level this means the demand will increase at price uh, reaches this level which is uh, likely to cause a sharp price increase as price approach this level the same is in force uh, in the opposite direction as well when big volumes uh, are accumulated at certain level above the price the supply would increase which can cause the price to drop sharply upon reaching that supply zone as such uh, traders should be aware of these two important levels within their chart um, where prices are likely uh, to rise and fall the demand zone and the supply zone so the demand zone a demand zone is a price area below the current price action where there is strong buying interest looking at chart below uh, uh, we can we can see that uh, there are there was a lot of buying interest at demand 
zone. Okay, most likely caused by a large volume of rest in buyer orders at this level. For this reason, uh, when the level price reaching the demand level, as shown uh, in this uh, Euro USD chart. Okay, so now we're going to explain what really happens technically and where are they the supply and demand zones all right so i'm going to draw um some zones here like this zone and this one these are demand zones so um the buyers are waiting for the price to drop to, to this zone so they can buy so the price will go up and they make profit along the way all right we can assume that the price will go to this uh, other zone this other zone we we'll call the supply zone all right so the buyers buy euros in exchange for dollars and that what happens here the price go up and when the price uh, come to this zone if you can see this zone it creates a supply when there is a supply the price goes down here and here there is a demand zone as you can see like this one so buyers will buy and then price will go up again we can find this in any time frame uh, we can find uh, supply and demand zones like this one uh, here in the daily basis or daily time frame and you can find another uh, demand zone and for here we can find the, the supply zone so the price the, so there is many uh, people who want to sell and make a profit when they sell their uh, euros the price goes down right um, I'm gonna make this in another color so we can uh, have a clue there is another um, a supply zone here I'm gonna delete this one so we can create another one here another supply zone the red ones are supply zones and the blue ones are uh, demand zones so buyers buy at these zones price go up uh, and sellers sell at the supply zone price go down and go up down up down uh, guys we are coming to the end of this video hope you enjoyed it and learned what is uh, a supply zone and what is a demand zone uh, see you on the next video with another course